The British royal family, a symbol of tradition and continuity, has seen its fair share of grand matrimonial ceremonies, each steeped in centuries-old customs. But as society evolves, so too do the expectations surrounding these royal unions. Today, we explore three traditional royal marriage customs and how they've been challenged by modern royals. If you're intrigued by the blend of tradition and transformation, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. First up, the long-standing tradition that royal marriages must be conducted as Church of England ceremonies. Historically, these ceremonies have underscored the monarchy's close ties with the church, reflecting its role in British society. This custom was notably challenged in 2005 when Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles opted for a civil marriage followed by a church blessing. Both being divorcees, their choice marked a significant departure from traditional Anglican weddings, signaling a shift in attitudes towards remarriage and religious norms within the royal family and broader society. If you're passionate about the British royal family, show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Next, the requirement for royal marriages to receive the monarch's approval. This tradition has been crucial for maintaining dynastic stability and aligning unions with political objectives. In 1973, Princess Anne's marriage to Mark Phillips initially raised eyebrows due to the lack of formal consent from Queen Elizabeth, although approval was eventually granted. This deviation hinted at a growing sense of autonomy among royal family members in choosing their partners. Lastly, the tradition that royals must marry within aristocracy or other royal families. This practice aimed to preserve power structures and strengthen diplomatic ties. Prince William and Kate Middleton's union in 2011 broke this mold. Kate, who met William at university, came from a middle-class background, marking a significant departure from marrying within royal or aristocratic circles. These examples illustrate the royal family's gradual adaptation to contemporary values, reflecting broader societal changes. What are your thoughts on these shifts in royal traditions? Do you think they reflect deeper changes in society? Share your views in the comments below. For more fascinating insights into royal traditions and their transformations, make sure to subscribe and like our videos. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more intriguing content.